suggestions on ways to do it by yourself. Here you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! First off, I'm going to take a Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just going to place this all over my lid to prime it. Next, I'm going to take the Sigma E55 brush with Urban Decay's Illusion all over the lid, which is a very nice nude color. Now with a Sigma E60, I'm going to take Oil Slick by Urban Decay, taking this on my crease as well as creating a V on my outer eyelid. I'm going to keep packing this color on and do not worry about the messiness because we will be blending this out. Using Skimp for my highlight with an E70 brush and Aura right underneath the arch. Now with my favorite brush from Sigma, the E40, the blending brush, I'm taking Mushroom by Urban Decay and I'm just blending out the oil slick color. Blend to your desired look. You can make this really smoky, you can make it a bit natural depending on what colors you use and how well you blend it out. Keep blending all the harsh lines until your desired look. Because a lot of the color faded away, I'm going to pack on more of the oil slick. With an e.l.f. jumbo pencil in French lace, I'm placing this right underneath my waterline. Now I do want a pop of my dress color in my makeup look. I really highly suggest that for a grad. Try to find a color in your makeup collection that matches your dress and pop it right underneath your lower lash line. So for that I'm going to take an E65 small angled brush and I'm taking these two colors from Sedona Lace. For an extra something something, I'm taking Sweet by e.l.f. and just placing this in my inner corner as well as blending it up towards that neutral eyeshadow we placed at the beginning. Add some liner to your top lid as well as in your waterline. Cover that with liquid liner. This is what I have so far and I curl my lashes and apply my mascara. You do not have to use false lashes, those are completely optional. I just love using them and these are the e.l.f. Dramatic Lashes. Placing some duo glue on the band and let that get tacky before placing them on your natural lash line. And this is what I'm left with. I love these lashes. They give you some something something to your look. Love them. Now for my face makeup. I don't get breakouts that often. It's like a once a year thing. And I have two right here. I'm going to start with some Cetaphil moisturizer or a Cetaphil. Because this is a grad makeup, I'm going to take the NYX HD primer. This makes your skin so flawless and your foundation goes on super smooth. I'm just going to blend that in with my Sigma F50 brush. These brushes are so soft. And then I'm going to take a full coverage foundation because you're going to be out all night. You're going to be taking pictures and you just want your makeup to stay on. This is my sample of the Kat Von D foundation. I recently got a full bottle of it but I'm just trying to use up. I'm going to take this on a foundation brush. This is an F60. 60 and I'm just gonna dot this now buffing that in with the same f50 that we used for the primer and I'm going to stipple this. I'm not going to Stroke it as much because you don't want streaks Get that in make sure you get it into your hairline and down your neck is very important now for my blemishes and for my under eyes, I'm going to take the NYX HD concealer blemish blemish and a few dots for under my eyes. With the same F60 again, I'm just going to dot this under, patting it under your eyes and lightly dotting these blemishes. Bed and I banana powder uh, with an F40 brush just under my eyes and just a Revlon color stay powder for the rest of my face. A little bit of blush and a little highlight. And this is the finished makeup. So pretty. To get this hair, it is super easy. All I'm going to do is split my hair in half, clip that out of the way, and what I'm going to be using for this look is the Hot Tools Deep Waver. This is super easy. It's basically just a crimper, and this is all I do. It depends on how long your hair is. I hold this on for a few seconds for each section, move down, and just keep repeating the process. It's really easy. I take sections about this wide, and I just go all over my head. 
It is honestly super easy. This you can find at Sally's Beauty Supply. I got this for Christmas. I just love it. It makes your hair so sweet and bouncy and it takes only a few minutes. Love this. Do the same thing with the top half. However, I'm not going to wave my bangs. Just clip those aside for now. So now that my hair is completed, this is what it looks like. I love this. It's so pretty. Uh, they're like mermaid waves. I personally want my hair a little bit longer. My hair is still clipped up here. So I'm going to use hair extensions. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark in here right now, but these are from abhair.com. These ones are 24 inches and they are bleach white blonde. So soft. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wave these in the exact same way that I did with my hair. And because these are 100% human hair, you can wave these, curl these, straighten these. They're looking so pretty already. And they are curling very well. That's awesome. Look at this. You don't even have to hold them on for a long time. They curl so well. So I have finished um, crimping them, waving them, and they look like this. Super gorgeous. All I'm going to do is put these in my head if you want to know how I do that. I have lots of tutorials. I'll stick one here and down below as well to put these in. And if you use the coupon Samantha15, you will get 15% off of the whole site. So this is the hair. I love this hair. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much to abhair.com. This is beautiful. Take this hair, lift up some of this hair, and just secure that back with a bobby pin just like this. And make sure the bobby pin is pointing away from your head so it doesn't show in your hair. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to move on to outfit. And what I recommend, a backless, strapless, and seamless bra. So if you have a big open back, if you have a strapless dress or whatever, this is what I recommend because you won't have any straps, but you can still cover your goods. I love this. This is from myspringit.com. They have all different sizes. These, to me, look like chicken cutlets. Don't they? Don't they look like chicken cutlets? And it'll stick and stay. It's so real. I'm just gonna stick these on my boobies and then put on my dress for you guys. This dress is absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is from prdress.co.uk. Love this website. It'll be linked down below. This dress is just beautiful. This fits me so, so good. And there's also a 10% off code down below. You can just find it down in the description box. This dress is so barbalicious. Love it. Next, I'm just going to add my jewelry as well as my lipstick, which is Max Girl Next Door with a lip gloss over top. These shoes, I got these in Vancouver uh, years and years ago. I forget what store I got them in, but they are Pleaser brand name. They do look like stripper shoes. Yes, I know that. I'm aware of that. However, they matched my dress and I thought they were amazing and adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching. you guys enjoyed this or got some tricks maybe you're gonna do it by yourself now who knows when somebody asks you where'd you get your makeup done you say i did it my dear holla thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys later bye guys